Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. Bet you weren't expecting this of all things. Back when I streamed this game and played through the game to 100%, I felt like, you know what, let's go back to this and actually you know, cover the differences between the SNES version and the Game Boy Advance version. So we're covering two major aspects. The first one is this. First off, if you're not familiar with the Legends of Link to the Past on the Game Boy Advance, it also has Four Swords built into it. The uh, not as good version of Four Swords, though. The Anniversary Edition, if you uh, got that on the DS back when you could get that. But in the Game Boy Advance version, if you played through this, there are two things you can unlock. The first is getting for 10 Medals of Courage. What's a Medal of Courage? When you finish a stage in Four Swords, everybody's ranked based on how many rupees they get. Whoever got the most gets a Medal of Courage. You get 10, you can do what we're doing now. Link, instead of chopping down trees, I've learned some wood carving techniques. You can solve some of my riddles, I'll make something special for you. You wanna try? Let's go for it. Take this basket, put whatever you think the right item is in it and bring it to me. You can get this if you're equipped with the bug catching net. Now for the riddle. cock a doodle doo what is it? Go find it and catch it with your bug catching net. Well gee, I wonder what goes cock a doodle doo Why it would be a chicken, of course. Let's put it in a basket. And what I like is, you can see a chicken in that basket. Now, as you might have already noticed, um, I'm going to be doing something a little different with this in comparison with some of my recent works. Um, I'm actually going to be doing this in the style of my old Let's Play videos. Kind of just as a trip down memory lane, if you will. So it's going to be all choppy. Uh, there's not going to be custom thumbnail like I've been doing. There's no outro or intro, nothing like that. It's just back down to basics. Back how I used to edit things. But, in any case... Let's go ahead and take this cuckoo out of the way here. Figure out the answer. Yeah, yeah. Scissors by the water. What is it? Let's get looking. It's a crab! Saying crab to be more precise. Now, one thing I'm pretty sure I talked about during the stream. I want to bring up right here, location number nine. I'm pretty sure I described this as the entrance to Turtle Lock in the Light World, and it is a place you can warp to in the GBA version. I was not lying about that, as you can now see. So, how many questions there are? I'm pretty sure there are ten questions in all. So let's pick number two, all the way back. Some of these you can figure out pretty easily, others you're going to have to do a lot more thinking in order to figure out what he's looking for. The cuckoo one's pretty easy, this one's kind of easy. Shiny and red, what is it? Gee, I wonder. In the Game Boy Advance version, there's shiny rocks. Keep hitting it and you can keep getting money. I don't think that was in the SNES version, I could be wrong on that. But in any case, the solution to this riddle is 20 rupees. So just find a 20 rupee lying around, and you can solve this riddle pretty easily. Taking this back. The best way to find a shiny stone is just going back and forth between screens until you eventually find it. Moist and fresh. I think I know where we're going. Here at the palace, the swamp palace, in the light world, let's put a fish in a basket. So that's probably the solution. So this is what, our fourth riddle, I'm pretty sure? I think so. Oh, cut. I can't just do that. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. But whatever. We will roll with the punches. Dashing all around. Oink. 
This is a very, very slow way. But I've got to make this last somehow, because if I just cut around it where everything is, this video is not going to be long at all. Oh yeah, and every few answers you get right, he'll give you a statue to put in your house. I forgot about that part. Boom, skitter scatter. What is it? This one could actually give you some problems. It's actually a lot easier than you think it is. Don't overthink it. What goes boom and skitter scatters? Why this thing, of course. Grab one of the tiny ones. Octo balloon. Yeah, there's that annoying sound from the Zoras. I don't know why I find that sound so annoying, I just do fireballs that they shoot out. That's probably just me. There's a lot of things that are just me. Alright, well, let's just take this back to uh, the uh, Riddle Man. Once this is all said and done, I will head to the house so we can see all of our statues that we got. Because they are kind of cool. All right. We right? We're right. Sprinkle and watch it wobble. What is it? Yet yeah, another one that might be a little difficult to figure out until you figure out what it actually is. And you're like, oh, I feel stupid. Because guess what? It's a kook man. Sora, Sora. Yeah, yeah. Put you in the basket. Fly on out of here. This is going to be a, involving a lot of the flute, apparently. And this feels so... It feels so weird going back to this. Like, going back to my old style of making videos. It's going to feel especially weird when I'm in editing. Just looking at the weirdness that is how I used to edit things. It was only one year ago, so... Well, maybe a bit over a year. Yeah, a bit over a year, actually. I think things through. Alright. Wait, what? Sprinkle and watch it wobble. That's not Kookman? Then what? I'm gonna have to go figure this out. Aha! Uh -huh. It's actually a slime. I don't want the bees. Best way to do is to use Quake when there's soldiers nearby, and then you have your answer. Well, now I feel stupid. Yep. Munches on nuts. What is it? It might be hard for you to figure out, considering this is only something you see pretty much one time in the entire game. But it's, uh, well, you'll see. It is, in fact, a squirrel that you only see once when you go to get the Master Sword. Maybe multiple times if you happen to go to the Master Sword, but still, only once. That actually seems kind of dickish. I gotta give the developers props for that. And notice how, just by going through these riddles, I've lost half of my health. That's a bad omen for the second bonus video. And we'll get to that soon enough, do not worry. Alright, well, we have successfully solved the riddle. And we get another statue. Pull it out, but too bad. What is it? Well, what tells us too bad when you get it? Why? It would be a. Let me drone this out for longer than I have to. Right here. A fake master sword. That is the solution in this case. And you thought that thing had no use. Well, surprise, surprise, the devs found a way to make it useful. It's red and sweet. What is it? This one's probably the hardest one. Because what you have to do... 
after way too much looking around, way more than I should have needed, we have apples, which is something yet that you would probably find on your own by pure chance. I have no idea why they made this a riddle, but you know what? We'll roll with it. So the answer to the riddle, the spectacled wanderer. This is probably the hardest riddle based on the description alone. But here's a hint. I thought it was an answer to an earlier riddle. Figured it out yet? Yep. It's Kookman. Just sprinkle you. Alright, scoop you up. Alright. And this is also the last riddle, which is nice. Ow. Bombs are not nice. And... Let's claim our reward. Reach in your basket. No, this can't be. I'm no match for you. I guess I'll teach you my family's secret sword technique. Charge up your, your sword and press the B button many times. Then your charge will last longer. We get the uh, hurricane spin. But it does cost magic. Now you've gotten this, the next time re you reboot the game, you will be able to use this... I can, can I even show you? Okay, no, you hold it down when after the second charge, that's when you start Master B. Watch your magic mirror. Next time you boot up the game, you can get this for four swords. It's actually kind of fun to use, but it didn't drain, if only it didn't drain magic. They'd have to nerf it somehow, otherwise it'd be broken as hell. But let's show off those statues we got. We got a statue of herself, a statue of a cuckoo, and a statue of the princess. But, sprinkle magic powder on them. Um, I thought there was something you could do with them. Probably mistaken. I could have sworn there was something you could have done with them. Was it so your sword? I don't know, but it's still kind of cool. But there is probably a way. Because I remember doing this before. There's a way to like, give them color and then change them into their dark world variations. I don't know how, though. I don't remember how. Anyway. That does it for this first bonus episode. Kind of sh on the short side, but rest assured, there's going to be one other bonus episode. And it's, let's just say, it's going to be taking up a lot of time. Because there is one final challenge that awaits us next time on The Legend of Zelda. A Link to the Past. Final challenge in the entire game is right here. See you guys then.